Hello everyone, welcome again back to our channel Codes Arcade. In this tutorial, we will be learning about how we can download and install the Jenkins application in our system. Okay, before that, I would like to request all of you to please like and share our videos with your friends and family and also please 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 don't forget to hit the bell icon if you really like our videos because that will help you to get latest notifications and updates into your mobile or your system so let's get started as i said today's tutorial will be on how to download and install jenkins so before that we need to know what is jenkins okay so i have a pdf for you guys if you see here jenkins is a ci cd tool ci cd stands for continuous integration and continuous delivery or deployment so jenkins is written in java it is free and open source it is a ci cd tool so it is like a agent where we can run our automated test cases it may be using selenium and many other tools so whatever automation test cases we have we can upload our test cases or our project to github and from github we can access those projects into jenkins and we can actually see and run our test cases or selenium automation test cases using jenkins in our remote machines so let me give you a brief idea about ci cd so ci cd is like whenever you are delivering apps to the customers we introduce automation into the different stages of app development so it's like we build one module then we build another module and then we integrate all of them together and we keep on adding automation into each step of the development and after that we can easily run automated test cases with the help of remote agents like Jenkins and it can be Bamboo or any other agent. So today I will be showing you how we can actually install Jenkins in our system. So there are certain requirements or prerequisites required in order to install Jenkins into our system. So in general Jenkins supports at least you can see here 256 MB of RAM and it supports all the operating systems Windows, Mac, Ubuntu or Linux and earlier it was supporting Java 8 or 11 but I have used Jenkins with Java JDK 17 it runs absolutely fine okay so these are the pre requirements that you need before installation of Jenkins so we have to see whether Java is installed or not so what I will do you can see here the first step is we should check whether Java is installed in your system or not so let me just open my command prompt and just maximize this and let me increase the size so here I can write java space hyphen hyphen version okay this is the command to check whether java is installed press enter you can see here my java jdk is jdk 17 as I have highlighted here okay so Jenkins runs absolutely fine with java jdk 17 you can either use the earlier versions say jdk 8 or jdk 11 it's absolutely fine no problem at all but I will use 17 for my case so let me go back here you can see the first prerequisite is okay done the next thing is we have to download the Jenkins var file okay because that is the best way of running Jenkins in our system you can also do it by downloading the standalone system or you can use Jenkins as a Windows service that is also possible so let us go to our browser and then let us try to search for Jenkins so the URL that you need to remember is Jenkins.io or else you can simply type Jenkins download that's also okay so I will just say Jenkins.io and press enter okay you can see I have this download option I will just click on that and there are many ways to do that but for myself what I will do is I will just download this generic Java wire file okay let me click on this you can see here it's asking me for a location where to download it so what I will do I will go to my D drive 
I will create a new folder called Jenkins. The D can be small. I will make it capital. Okay. Press enter and enter. Here I will save this file. Okay. Just save it. It's taking some time because the size is 89 MB. So let's wait for it to get downloaded. After that, I will show you the commands which you need to get started with Jenkins. In the meantime, let me just go to Google and show you something here. If I type CI CD, go to images. Let me show you a proper example so that you can understand this. Let me write pipeline as well. Okay. This here you can see. See if you go to this image, you'll understand it in the proper way. You can see here we have any version control like get. Then we build our project. Then we have all the unit testings. Then we deploy our project. Then we write the automation test cases. And finally, it is given to production. So, this is a simple and easy way of understanding about CI CD. You can see there are many other diagrams here. So, we actually write our simple unit test cases. Then we integrate them, which is called integration testing. And after that, we make a deployable code which is loaded to github and then from that we get access to the code from github via jenkins or any other remote agent like bamboo then we can actually run our automation test cases using jenkins so that is what is actually jenkins made of okay it is a ci cd tool which is used for automation testing let me go back to my browser and let's go back to see how much download has been done okay it's taking some time so let us wait for that the download has finished here so what i'll do is you can see i'll just go to that folder and show you the wire file okay you can see that this is the wire file and it's in my d drive and you can see that's it so now let us go back to the pdf You can see here we have downloaded the wire file so one task is done so next task is we have to go to command prompt and run the command java hyphen jar jenkins.var and if you want any particular port number you can provide that port number like this or else you can simply by default check the port number which is 8080 okay so let me close this pdf now it's no longer required and go back to my terminal and I will move to my D drive and to that particular folder where I have downloaded the Jenkins war file. Okay. So D colon, it will move to the D drive. Okay. So I will CD or change directory to the Jenkins folder. Okay. I will just, just clear the screen so that you can see the other stuff going on. Here the command is java space hyphen jar. Jenkins dot war. I'll press enter and you can see running from D drive. So this is the command Java space I can jar Jenkins dot war. So this will start the setup of Jenkins. Okay. It will take some time for the first time. So let's wait and see how it goes on. And guys, please remember as I told you, Java JDK 8, 11, and 17 support Jenkins the best. So I suggest you use 8, 11, or 17. I am using 17, you can use either 8 or 11. Because I have found that JDK 17 runs Jenkins very smoothly. So let us wait. Okay, you can see it's starting, it's doing. And you can see for the first time when you are installing. Jenkins, you need to remember this particular checksum or the password. Okay, this will be required when you are actually starting Jenkins for the first time. So, what I will do, I will just so you can see here 
this is the particular password let me just copy this no spaces okay so in this say control c copy okay and now let us go to the local host etp so that we can actually see this you can see here this is the port number etp okay so let me go to my browser and just type local host colon etp okay press enter You can see here it's asking me for the password. So Jenkins has installed properly. So I will just paste my password. Okay. This is the password that I copied from my command line. I just press continue. You can see it got updated. So I don't want to update this password here. I will just say no thanks. Fine. And let us install the suggested plugins. This is suggested by Jenkins, so I'll just install all of them. Okay, as you can see, all the downloads are taking place. So it will take some time, as I said, depending on the speed of your internet and the speed of your device. So let's wait until then, till the time all the dependencies get downloaded automatically. And now you can see all most all the dependencies have been downloaded. Fine. Now you can see here it's asking me for the username and the password for the first user. So this will be the first admin user. So I will just say any name, say Ronnie. Okay. And the password, I will use any password that I remember. Okay and for the confirm password i have to put the same thing done so let me write the name say sort of and wrong that's okay no problem at all you can put any name you want and i'll give the email address so let me give any username which is not available right now This is not mandatory, you can give any email ID. Okay, so as you see, I'm done here. So I'm saving this. And let me close this for the time being. And okay, let me save this password as well. And you can see this is the particular URL for our Jenkins. And let me now save and finish. Okay, you can see Jenkins is ready, up and running. So let us click and start this. Let me show you how the Jenkins UI looks like. So when you click it for the first time, you can see this is the particular dashboard of Jenkins where you will have jobs. So right now I can create a job by clicking on this. And also I can either click, click on this new item option and I can create a new project. It can be a freestyle project, it can be a CI CD pipeline, or etc. Okay, so let me go back to the dashboard again. And as I told you, here also I can click and create a new job. Same thing will happen. Okay, this is how the UI looks like. And you can see this is the username or my current username that I have here. I have no jobs right now. So that's okay because this is the totally new Jenkins installation. Now, this is how the UI looks like and this is the installation of jenkins it's not so easy guys so please follow all the steps given in the tutorial and if you have any doubts you can always ping me in the comment section no problem at all i will try to resolve all your queries and if you really like this video please don't forget to like and share it and post your comments in the comment section at the same time don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notifications regarding all latest updates. So this is it guys. This is how you can install Jenkins which is a CI CD tool for automation and much more. I hope you like the video. So once again, happy learning guys. I hope you like this video. Signing off for today. Thank you.